like I said, we've pretty much watched everything that, sh- that you have done. When you're walking down the street and you're in LA, what do you think you are recognized for the most? I really don't, I, at this point, I, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I know. I know the projects that no one saw because yeah. I did them and no one saw them up. So, you know, that was obviously a fail. Um, but, but, you know, I think each show, thankfully, I've, I've done has different sort of fan bases. Obviously, the Disney Channel, when I jumped on to Wizards of Waverly Place, you know, Selena Gomez is an incredible actress and a huge, obviously, pop star actress. Um, and so the platform of the Disney channel plus, uh, of being on a very popular show with, if, you know, it was probably her and Miley were the two yeah. mm-hmm. most famous young women at the time. Um, so that show blew up. So a lot of people recognized me from wizards, obviously pretty little liars was a, was a huge show. And I, you know, did a few episodes mm-hmm. there MTV when I, when, uh, I did a show called faking it, Loved um, faking it. on, on MTV and people come up to me and love that show. They're like still right to me. They're still angry at the fact that it got canceled after three seasons. I'm like, yo, we did three seasons. I don't <laughs> yeah. know, like, can't do a hundred, um, <laughs> but you know, it was a really important show. Um, and obviously then I just recently did, uh, Marvel's runaways. And so there's a huge Marvel fan base too. So sometimes I'm getting stopped by like a 65 year old dude in FedEx, <laughs> like pounding me. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's changed a lot. Place. It's changed a lot. Yeah. O- over the years. But, um, I think with this show in particular, you know, my brother's 34 married, two kids loves the show, like yeah. loves the show. I did not expect him to, to love the show, but I think this show appeals to a lot of people because it's such a lighthearted watch and because you can put it on, you care about these characters, they lead with kindness. And, uh, and I think a lot of people are going to sort of be like, Oh, I like this character. Oh, this is actually really funny. This is actually pretty smart comedy. So, um, there you go. (laughs) Yeah. Love how you got the name in there. And And (laughs) And it's always good when you have these types of shows where if you, get through all of it very quickly you immediately want a season two and i think a lot of fans are going to feel that way when when they watch this which is great because that's always like you always want the fans to push immediately because you get all these shows uh on you know netflix or hulu whatever it is and they just poof they end and you're and, like and then you're so upset about it so upset but we're not saying that's gonna no happen no no here, i just <laughs> no i'm saying that it's so good that i know that the way it ends because i'm not trying to give anything away the yeah. way like people are going to immediately want a second season yeah i agree yeah i think people are gonna uh-huh. love this now um besides the acting you were doing a lot of youtube videos for a little bit what happened there do you think you're gonna jump back into that um i don't know um, I think YouTube's an amazing platform. Um, I think one of the main reasons why I wanted to do that was it's, I did it with um, my best friend. And I think it's really nice to be able to, to do something and look it was sort of like a, like a diary. I yeah. can look back on our friendship like and just see see the friendship throughout the years. Um, I will say it takes a lot of time. And when I'm shooting, it's really tough to balance both. I would say my main passion is acting. I also love producing. That's one of the main reasons why I wanted to uh, sort of uh, produce YouTube videos. Yeah, because you're because in it's control hard. of you know, it. You're in control of, yeah, you're in control of the edit. And also, to be honest, I know this is like, it depends. I don't want to, let me, let me think about yeah. that. <laughs> but, you know, the media, for example, if you get lovely people like you both, then it's all good. Right. But what can happen is if, if you own a YouTube channel, you can sort of control the edit, you can control the narrative. And I just for went for a while, for a while I got a little concerned to handing over my words to somebody else who is then gonna manipulate my words into a storyline that they wanted to use. And so I wanted to sort of take back some of the, some of the control of my own voice, which is why I did it. Um, and then also, I just think it's fun. I think it's a great platform and, and yeah. 